out here at Curtis Lumber. Again. Zero feet altitude, one feet distance, nine miles per hour, 100% battery. No Toronto mission. Sunny, annoyingly sunny. Get up there and get a focus point. Tower looks good. Let's do this. Sun is obviously going to be a problem. Put the sun hood on. Should help a little. Three hundred twenty-five feet altitude, two hundred forty-five feet distance, twenty-five miles per hour, ninety-five percent battery. Right before sunset mission. Check to make sure that I got the uh, collision avoidance off. So when it collides with the sun, when it turns and faces it, it won't stop dead and hang in the air. Yeah, this is going to go up the pike, hang a big left, and go out behind the water tower. Over there. Right into 325 the feet altitude, 2,449 feet distance, 24 miles per hour, 91% battery. Can only hope on the way back that the sun isn't shining in the lens. The problem I have is I won't be able to tell because I'll lose uh, connection for a little while. Turn the cameras. Yeah, that's not a good look. It's going to turn right here. I'm going to leave it where it is. Because it shouldn't. 125 feet altitude, 4,640 feet distance, 24 miles per hour. 87% battery. After this turn, it shouldn't be facing the sun. It should be facing away from it. Yeah, there we go. That should work. Signal's getting sketchy right here. Lost connection. I will. I knew that was going to happen out here because I'm behind. Uh, there's a big hill between me and the drone here where the water tower is. So I've flown this quite a few times and it always happens right here. But I do have Mr. Tracker on board. Forgot to check it to make sure it was on. Should be. Yes, it is on. <laughs> 
So right now it's flying behind the hill where the water tower is. It's going to come out over near the golf course. And they should get a picture back in about two minutes. I'll probably do one more flight, 7 o'clock. Got enough time for one more. I was thinking of going downtown and flying over the mall and then go to the port, but I'm not feeling feeling the love. I'm gonna, gonna go down to the picnic table down there in uh, the green bush. Or the bottle center. We gotta stop and get some club soda. I'm always stopping to get club soda. Warning, disconnected. Yeah, I made a little mistake on my mission yesterday that I flew from the cemetery over to um, the Amazon build site. I had mapped a new mission out, I shortened it, and I set it to spend more time flying around lower at the Amazon site, and I didn't take into consideration a tree that was right there uh, on one of the turns, and I for, kind of, I knew it was there, but I didn't think about it. I wasn't paying attention to it when I plotted the mission out. And sure enough, the thing probably missed it by about five feet. So, I mean, all it takes is a little freaking, uh, <laughs> temporary just a little lapse of attention and bam you could have a problem so it's almost over 200 hours flight time now I'll still make a stupid mistake like that so what happens I didn't see it either when it was flying because I had lost signal for a minute and then after what it did it flew over a uh, there's a, an antique shop over there, two buildings. And it came f pretty low over those two buildings. I'm like, wait a second, what the hell is that doing? And second, when I was watching it um, at home after I watched the full video, because I didn't, it had already passed that point. And it, um, I didn't notice, I didn't see it happen. And then when I saw the video, I'm like, holy shit, that could have been bad, that was close. I was only about maybe 10 feet over the, 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 the two buildings and five feet over a tree that was right there. I'm like, oh. So, lucky for me, I dodged the bullet. 24 feet altitude, 6,478 feet distance, 24 miles per hour, 63% battery. Right over the golf course now on the way back. <clears throat> I had the signal, but I lost it for a couple more minutes. There's no wind. Should have the signal back right now. What the hell? <coughs> it's not that far away. There it is. Looks like it was a little overexposed, but... Uh, my software filter will fix that. Won't be a problem. Actually, it'll look pretty good. So hopefully it didn't point at the sun. Well, it shouldn't have. There's no way it could have. And so... We shall see. 
You always see cars stopped on the road there. Then I realize what they're doing is they're walking down to the pond and you're going fishing. Just stop right here on this road. There's one right there. Somebody's down there fishing. That's the lens so that's you can see it. I prefer not to use the lens hood, lens hood, but when the sun is like the way it is right now, you kind of have to. It's starting to set right now. 324 feet altitude, 2,075 feet distance, 24 miles per hour. 41% battery. Straight where he got pulled over. That U shaped building there. Where I got stopped for a headlight out. <laughs> Friday night. I fixed it already. Three hundred twenty three feet altitude. Mission ended. Forty one feet distance. Zero miles per hour. 36% battery. Let's see if there's anything on the ground over here. This garage. Big garage. This is where they had all the uh, wind turbines stored for shipping. Let's see if they have any more. I ain't been over here in a while. Nope, not yet. Yeah, I'm parked over there. Three hundred twenty one feet altitude, two thousand six hundred sixty six feet distance, nine miles per hour, twenty eight percent battery. Going back. Went a little wild. Warning, aircraft battery at 25%. Pretty much everything's closed right now. Three hundred twenty four feet altitude, nine hundred forty nine feet distance. Warning aircraft battery at twenty two per cent, twenty two miles per hour, twenty two per cent battery. Surprise, <clears throat> return to home didn't kick in. Aircraft 
226 feet altitude, 1 feet distance, 6 miles per hour. Warning, aircraft battery at 17%. 14%. Tried to do one of them hard slap landings again. I stopped it. Could be my uh, this a little Velcro ribbon that holds the straps the GPS module down. It might have moved a little bit and blocked one of the sensors. But that one's good. I think we're gonna go down to the picnic table in the green bush and do one more fight. Do the